Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I had a couple of video ideas for this week, but they both kind of just didn't pan out very well. I found this cool project on, on Thingiverse. It's a mechanical keyboard numpad with a 3D printed case. So I was gonna show you guys how to put this together if you were a beginner at soldering and you just wanted to learn how to solder, you could try to put this thing together and solder the switches. It ended up being a little bit more difficult than I thought. It's definitely not a beginner friendly project, so that kind of fell through. In the mail, I also got a, uh, a Neo Geo Unibios 4.0, and I've had a Neo BIOS Master kit for a while that I just put together. I was gonna make a video about putting the Unibios together, but that also didn't work. I think something's something wrong with the Unibios Master kit. The Neo Geo didn't end up working. We're taking a family trip to Ikea today, so uh, I'm gonna just get a couple of things for the room here. I was able to pick up the drawers for my Billy bookshelf. I really wanted to get those for a long time now, just to keep the dust out of the collection here. Billy don't want to have to dust those consoles uh, more often than I have to. So uh, that's just kind of like phase two of the Billy bookshelf here. Phase three is probably gonna be LED lights to light this bookshelf up so you can see all the consoles inside. The other cool thing I got today was the CRT that was at my parents' house. I have an RGB to component converter. I think this is a recommended, I think this is recommended by Bob from Metro RGB. I've had it for so long it, since I've had a, an OSSC, I haven't really had uh, a need for it, but it works in a pinch here. It looks pretty dang good for being RGB to component. I mean, all things considered, this isn't really a, uh, that fancy of a CRT or anything, but I think it looks pretty good. It'll be really exciting to be able to use, um, it has composite and S video inputs, so, as well as components. So I'll be able to use almost everything on this TV just to, you know, to do tests and things. It'd be cool to have a PVM someday or BVM uh, someday, but uh, uh, for now, uh, this will do. Thanks for watching this video, even though it wasn't a modding video. It's still kind of a day in the life for me, kind of an interesting vlog style that um, I think it's cool to be able to get day in the life of retro gamers. So thanks for watching. Like this if you like it, get subscribed, and I'll see you in the next video.